good day everyone this is promise kawai your web designer your social media manager and your graphics designer if this is your first time of coming to my channel i welcome you in this channel we learn about social media tricks and acts we also learn about web design and we also learn about graphics design and to my returning subscribers i want to say welcome back thank you for coming back to the channel i appreciate you guys and thank you so much for your support so in our last video we learned how to create an email a business email via the cpanel how to create a business email via the cpanel on your hosting plan but today we are going to be learning how to install wordpress on your hosting plan the hosting plan you just purchased how to install wordpress and start building your website exciting right i know you want that i know you like that so we are going to be looking at that today so first thing first like i used to tell you guys i use advanced host for all things that i host online all my publishings all my domains and all like that it's advanced also i use advanced host for my tutorial and all like that so let's go straight into the tutorial so if this is your first time of coming to the channel please like the video please subscribe and also turn on your notifications so that you can get further videos so welcome back into the tutorial now i'm logged in into my advanced host account advancedhost.com is a, one of the best web hosting platforms in nigeria and um that is where you see a lot of cheap domain names hosting names that has a lot of features that you need for your website and all so first thing first to install wordpress in your hosting plan you need to log in to your c panel so i click logged into my c panel and you see click here to log in so now we are logged in into our c panel can you see we are logged in into our cpanel and this is how the cpanel looks like like in the last video that i uploaded i i talked about all these sections all the things that are here but i would still do a video a proper video explaining everything everything that is on the cpanel so but first this is how the cpanel looks like and we want to install wordpress on our hosting plan right so this is what you do when you log into your cpanel you have to go down to the place you see softaculous installer softaculous app installer this is softaculous app installer can you see it you can install wordpress joomla anything any php anything on your on your on your hosting plan but today we are going to install wordpress yeah because i know most of most websites in the world are hosted with wordpress they are hosted on wordpress so i most people use wordpress to build their website so we're going to be installing wordpress on our hosting plan so now once you click on wordpress it takes you to the wordpress like to this section to the wordpress section where you can install your wordpress on your hosting plan like you it's showing me already that i already have a website installed wordpress website installed but because of this tutorial i'm going to go through the process again and show you how to install wordpress like now see the required space to install 60.30 mb and the available space i have on my hosting plan is unlimited that's why i always recommend you that you should use advancedhost.com because they like their futures are very mwah, like it's very 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 exciting it's something that you would get and you know that you didn't waste your money on do you understand so let's just skip all my stories and let me install so you just click install now do you understand so now it takes you to this page like the wordpress installer page and it will tell you if you have multiple domains it will tell you okay which domain do you want to install it on is it wordpress.org or is it wordpress.org.ng if you have multiple domains on this place it will virtually tell you to choose the one you want to install your wordpress on now you also choose https do you understand https is more secure you choose it based on security you choose it if you have a an ssl uploaded on your website you understand so you choose it and you choose okay let me just use skillinitiative.com this is where i want to install it and please 
if this is your first time of installing wordpress do you understand you have to remove this do you understand since you are not an expert yes remove the wp please remove the wp please don't put anything there for don't mind me that i put g or something like that just remove everything let it be blank do you understand let this thing yeah let it be blank remove it you understand that kind of stuff and all like that so now you come here you put the name of your site what's the name of your site let's just say practical sites practical practical site let's just name it practical and um wordpress site description what are you using the description for just for learning because that's what we are doing we are learning so now you put your admin username and your password please don't try not to forget this try not to forget this let's leave our username as admin because i'm going to use it as admin and our password i'll leave it as password let me put password one two three four five six seven eight nine zero now it's showing me that my password is strong 93 over 100 now you put your email if you don't have a business email i showed you in our last video how to create a business email but if you don't have a business email bico put your normal gmail or your y mail yeah please just put it there so now you choose your language your preferred language leave all these ones for now don't touch this section you understand don't even go to the advanced section and um you come in here you put your email that you want wordpress to send your installation details to so that in case you forget you can go back to your mail and check it it's not that you now install wordpress finish you now say i don't remember my password i beg put email here so that you go fit go back go check if you don't forget your password so you understand so once you put your email here all you need to do is click install and it installs wordpress do you understand for you like practically it installs wordpress for you and you will be able to access it so now let me just try to install it let me see what will happen although i'm still going to delete it now so i've installed it and it's checking the data you understand checking the submitted data and once it's up to 100 percent you understand you'll be able to access your wordpress website and you'll be able to do anything that you want to do from wordpress i hope with this little explanation you've gotten everything you've gotten everything that you need to know do you understand you've gotten everything and it's quite easy it's very very quite easy so please just follow the steps don't try to do i to know see there's no i to know in this business do you understand if you are not conversant with the c panel or anything here one little mistakes can destroy all the things you've built do you understand so please just try to follow the steps and you get it right you always get it right so this is where i'm going to be dropping um like we will say they'll say drop your pen but now i'll be dropping my laptop <laughs> so that you guys would um look at this and um get to see do you understand now wordpress has been installed and this is it that's why i said you should remove the g you see the g is showing normally if you don't if you remove the g it will not show like this do you understand you it will show like this so it will be showing like this it will show without the g so this is how to access your website if you want to log in through wordpress and this is the web your website passy so this is how to install wordpress basically on your hosting plan vi cpanel thank you for staying to the end of this video cheers